NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden facing the tribunal of public opinion this morning. Some are calling him a patriot for revealing invasive surveillance measures by the federal government. And yet others say he's a traitor for releasing classified American secrets. But what would our founding fathers think? Joining us now, a historian and the author of a great new book called Blood of Tyrants, Logan Byrne. Good morning, Logan. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. Thank this you. is an incredible book. I, I started reading it this morning. Blood of Tyrants, George Washington, and the Forging of the Presidency. What would George uh, Washington think and our founding fathers think about this fellow Snowden and his leaks? That's right. So our founders faced men just like Snowden, and they sentenced them to death. Now, the founding fathers would be wary of the NSA uh, surveillance that we have now. We did fight a revolution to avoid government intrusion, after all. But once we won and our republic was established, we had adequate representation. And their founders demanded that we follow our own laws. And, and, and so when you think of traitors, when you think of treason, when you think of people who are turncoats, you obviously think of Benedict Arnold, and his, uh, he was a great American general uh, and patriot at one point, but then decided that he was going to turn coat to the British and turn West Point in New York State over to the British and turn the tide of war. Any kind of uh, comparisons between what Snowden may be doing and, and, and back to Benedict Arnold? Absolutely. There are many parallels. So Arnold was one of our best military leaders, and then he decides to try to sell out our crucial installation at West Point. He got away, but Washington tried to hunt him down and was ready to execute him. So he did capture Benedict Arnold's co-conspirators, and he was uh, pretty ruthless and had his co-conspirator hanged. Let's look at what George Washington said. Uh, uh, the name of American which belongs to you in your national capacity must always exalt the just pride of patriotism. What does that mean to you, Logan? Absolutely. So you're, first and foremost, you are an American. And it is your duty to follow our laws that are really your laws as well. And what Snowden did was he went around the legal channels that he had at his disposal to instead endanger us all and expose our secrets to our enemies. Uh, it seems to me in reading uh, some of your book here this morning that the, the, the patriots, the, the founding fathers, they faced things that they never thought that they would face. And they came up with solutions. And in some way we're kind of groping... Um, and looking our own way, based on technology, based on a, a world uh, economy, and, and like that. What is the most important lesson that you learned in reading these thousands of documents from the University of Virginia, Yale Law School? You laid yourself out in this stuff. What's the most important thing you learned about George Washington's legacy for America? Absolutely. So times change dramatically, but people do not. So the Founding Fathers were dealing with the same dilemmas and fundamental issues of being a human and what are our liberties that we still face today. And so when they're writing the Constitution and they're creating the government that we live by, this is what they had in mind. Well, this is an essential human story in a great book, Blood and Tyrants. I recommend this. Good to see you. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. See you again. The accused Fort Hood